I am on a drug, it's called Charlie Sheen. You make a choice to win, and you win. I'm gonna weep over your exploded body. Good luck, you're gonna need it. I'm gonna be over here, like, winning. My grand wizard master. Oops, winning. Winning, indeed. A man intent on destroying any semblance of a professional acting career appears to be spiralling into a drug-induced meltdown, except for one thing, he's clean. So what's driving this destructive spiral into madness? Well, if you ask his pal Sean Penn, it's Charlie's ironic sense of humour and the personality of a performance artist that the public is misinterpreting as self-destruction. Could it be that this is all a giant ruse, a la Joaquin Phoenix's I'm Still Here mockumentary? Is Charlie having a laugh at our expense, as the immensely talented and capricious Joaquin once did? We wanted to do a film that explored celebrity um, and explored the relationship between the media and the consumers and the celebrities themselves. Only time will tell, but it does appear at this moment that the star of comedy spoof Hotshots is taking himself very seriously, perhaps more seriously than ever before. It's not like going to a carnival and, you know, riding a Ferris wheel all day long, but it, uh... It's, you know, some days are f more fun than others, and, you know, we joke around and try to keep it light. Maybe the joking around has gone a bit far. Let's not forget that this award-winning actor, born of Hollywood royalty, was once famous for roles such as Bud Fox in Wall Street, a role he played so well that Oliver Stone invited him back to reprise it in Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps. Blue Horseshoe still love, Vanna can't steal. <laughs> Having first worked with Stone as a child extra on Apocalypse Now with his father, Martin Sheen, then again on Platoon as a young soldier struggling to cope with the realities of the Vietnam War, Charlie had a lot of respect for Stone's writing and his process. In Platoon, we shot the script. The script was brilliant. We just shot it word for word, same for same. We had to learn a reality-based style of combat behavior the world knew about. So every detail had to be very refined. And much like his father before him in Apocalypse Now, Charlie's acting method is deeply personal. Having witnessed his father almost die of a heart attack on the set of that movie, Oliver Stone asked Martin and Charlie to recall the experience for the 1987 classic Wall Street, when Bud Fox's father is in hospital after a heart attack. I don't think the word uh, easy in films should even be put in the same sentence. You know, uh, it's funny, people think it takes as long to make a film as it does to watch one, you know, it's kind of bizarre. It is this commitment that started to wear him down, eventually leading to drug and alcohol problems as early as 1990. He worked hard and played harder. But the world of film was the one he knew, and it gave him a kind of comfort he didn't get in real life. There's nothing uh, about it that resembles real life except the make-believe situations. It would be nice to be that comfortable in real life as you are in a film, but, uh, but it's not realistic. With brother Emilio Estevez finding success early in his career, and a father he adored that was revered the world over for his iconic performances, you have to wonder if all Charlie wanted was to be recognised for his own unique talents. You know, they both have their own personal style, uh, and they both work with a different technique. Uh, and that's what makes them unique, I think. But I think uh, the uniting uh, kind of energy between them is their instincts. They both have uh, uh, very strong and very uh, honest instincts. And, when an artist has that, it's, uh, it's the foundation for anything else that might come. Despite his early seriousness, Charlie's great success has come from comedy. 2002 saw him win a Golden Globe for Spin City, thus beginning a golden era of comedy for Sheen. Following up this comic success by taking roles in Scary Movies 3 and 4, it seemed the dark cloud had finally lifted from Charlie. I think it reminds people and myself that I don't take myself that seriously, you know, and this, this is a good thing. During this time, Charlie took on the highly characterised role of Charlie in Two and a Half Men, a role loosely based on his own bad boy ways, and one that garnered him four Emmy nominations and two Golden Globe noms. At the time, it seemed Charlie was just happy to be recognised for his work. It's an honour to be included in a very small 
group of people and the, the guys with me are supremely talented and you know everybody's job is as difficult as the other guys so whoever goes home with the with the trophy is uh, deserves it you know now however you have to wonder if that fleeting happiness was actually genuine I'm getting a little tired of going for a laugh or reacting to something funny or knowing something isn't funny that's supposed to be funny. That may have been take 15 that you guys saw, you know? And for us, it's, you know, you want to swallow your own tongue at that point. After a successful film and television career spanning 36 years, acting in almost every genre possible, it seems that Sheen's recent bizarre behaviour could be either Charlie having the last laugh at our expense or a tragic slide into mental illness. At this point, it's anyone's guess. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. The day it stops being fun, I'll, uh, I'll be, I'll be out of here. I'll, I'll just take a boat somewhere and call it a day. Happy sailing, Charlie. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.